All right, here we are in Cloverdale for round five of the Canadian Kawasaki Arena Cross Championship. Pro-Am lights just getting ready to go off the line here. It looks like it's going to be the number three of Tyler Medallia taking the whole shot of that Maple Ridge Motorsports KTM. Brock Hoyer in second, Brad Nott in third. Make that Jeremy Medallia in third. Johnson in fourth. And it looks like a Brigo up there as well, battle at the front of the pack. Tyler Medallia on that KTM 52 stroke. Out front through the whoop section with followed by Hoyer, Jeremy, Ross, Abrigo, and Set. So a little bit smaller track here tonight in the Chill Act. A little bit different than what we're used to. But these guys have been giving us some good racing all night in the qualifiers. Not afraid to make contact out there and give these fans a show. All right, keep your eyes on the battle there for third place. Looks like we got Abrigo and Johnson chasing Jeremy Medallia there. Jeremy on that cycle north Honda. Tyler with a little bit of space over Brock Hoyer. Brock and that RMR Fox shot suspension Yamaha. And there we go, Johnson trying to put a move on his teammate Jeremy Medallia as they go over the finish table there. Here they go, Johnson still ahead of Abrigo, over the dragon back. Abrigo to the outside, not able to make it happen. Johnson with his incredible whoop speed. It doesn't matter if Johnson goes inside or outside into the whoop section, he's one of the fastest guys through there all night. Jeremy Medallia all over Brock Hoyer now for second place. Tyler starting to take even more of a lead here on that Maple Ridge KTM 52 stroke. The track's really soft in spots. It's really flowery, tight like dirt, soft, loamy. Tyler's two strokes working really well here tonight. All right, Abrigo, oh, Abrigo, Casey in the dragon back there, pulls up on the rear wheel of Ross Johnson. Abrigo side by side as he goes outside. Johnson able to protect the line. And Abrigo just putting the moves in on Ross Johnson. Just not quite able to make something stick. Both these guys, Americans, up there racing the Canadian Gauss Arena Cross Series, put on by a feature West crew. A great addition to this series. Brock Hoyer still holding second place over Cycle North, Jeremy Medallia. Ross Johnson in fourth, Abrigo fifth, and Stat sixth. And then it looks like Carlson and Nodden. Is a 20 lap main event. Tyler Rinaldi is still a commanding lead. Not a whole lot of passing out there yet this race. Pretty one lined in sections. Jeremy trying to gain a little bit of uh, time up there on Brock Hoyer. Brock still holding second place. And Jeremy taking the step onto the dragon back. Both of them taking the inside line going into the whoop section. You'll see here, Billy's got the camera on the number eight of Brock Hoyer. Jeremy going inside, still not quite able to do what he needs to do to get around Brock Hoyer. Jeremy's running a new setup this weekend. We got a whole new motor package from Frenchie at C4MX. He said it's working great. Jeremy was full shot at both his qualifiers earlier, and he's got that second off on that just dialed. Oh, it looks like we got a big rock rolling out of the berm onto the middle of the track. Hopefully nobody clips that with their wheels. Speaking of riders, Brock Hoyer's bike looking good there. I know he was doing a lot of uh, a lot of setup earlier in the day with uh, Rod from Iron Mar Suspension, getting those Fox shocks working just right. 
And it looks like Jake Anstett is now past the Brigo. So Jake Anstett will move into the fifth place position. And not it, or sorry, not not it. Jeremy getting around Brock Oyer there, taking second place. So we got two medallions up front. And Jeremy's on fire right now. Starting to make a bit of time up on Tyler. But will it be enough time up in this race to catch up to his older bear? Jeremy with a bobble in the whoops. It's like Brock closing right back up on it. Both these riders not afraid to get dirty. Make some contact with some good racing on. These guys are competing for big bucks here on the Future West Series. And these guys want to take it home. Hoyer closing up on the rear wheel. Whoops, the start deteriorated a bit. You guys aren't able to get a drive through there like they were earlier in the night. But look at the number 10 of Ross Johnson on that Slate of Honda. Quietly sneaking up on this battle for third place. He wants to get on the podium. He wants to get into the money. All right, the battle for second, still where you got your eyes to be. Brock Hoyer on the Yamaha. The he is all over Jeremy, just unable to make anything stick during the thick lappers now. And it's not making anything any more easy for these guys. Spencer Knowles, they are the number one machine. I believe he's getting lapped right now. I could be wrong on that. I did lose track of him earlier in the race. My apologies. But we got number seven of Jake Anstan all over Ross Johnson. Last lap, Tom Medallia taking the last lap flag. Half a lap to go and Tom Medallia will take home. Will win here and be $1,000 richer. Oh, it looks like we got a rider down. It looks like Carlson is down in the burn corner. And there's Tyler taking the first Pro AM Light made event win here in Cloverdale. Followed by his brother Jeremy Brock, Ross Johnson right there. And looks like Jake Anstead, your final top five there.